Hey Cappy, your reading has been uploading since Sunday, 2 a.m. I don't know what's going on. We're going again. I might have to delete it and start again. It might be a sign. We've got the magician on the back of the deck for four seconds on the clock. Interesting. The queen of the queen of swords is just the wrong way around in this deck. No accidents. Keep that in mind. First card out, eight of cups. There's something that needs to be integrated, something that needs to be accepted so that you can move forward. It feels like you could be revisiting the same emotion, that you could be stuck in a certain cycle of emotion. This feels like an illusion. It feels like stories you've maybe told yourself about certain individuals or illusions that are being shattered expectations that you had of certain people places or things that they weren't what you thought they were it's like an opportunity to be your own your own expectation your own celebration it's like maybe that something's let you down but that means there's an opportunity for you to do something yourself, for you to change something. You could be seeing a lot of sevens. You're being asked to look at this from a higher perspective. It's, there's someone that didn't fit or something, some place that just didn't fit. It didn't resonate. It wasn't the kind of community that you were trying to grow. Somebody's intentions weren't what you truly wanted around you. It feels like you were aware of this, something needed to change. This could have been an end of a relationship. It feels like you could be feeling frustrated at yourself in terms of how long you've been in illusion, feeling like you missed something, you, you was misled, led up the garden path kind of energy. Strength. Queen of Wands in reverse, strength. Judgment in the recent past. The tower. The way when the tower come out, I'm just doing my washing and the washing machine just sped up. And it's like that thing of like the, the water turning, the eight of cups, the emotions. Like something feels like it's too much to handle, too much to keep reliving, re-experiencing, recycling some kind of emotion. As difficult as it is to feel whatever this is, it's because of feeling the way that you're feeling right now. That you've been able to tap into certain visions. If it was, if you hadn't seen what, if you hadn't seen the truth of things, you would never have let it go. It feels like something's happened in the way that there's no way around it. So, like you, there's no way you could go back to something. It's been taken out of your hands. It's like there's no option but to grieve something here and move on. It does feel like something you're emotionally attached to. We've got the sun in the near future. This was the 52 seconds on the clock. This was the first card out in the reading that I did for you guys um, early hours Sunday. I was in an aggy mood though. I don't know if it's not uploading for my own, you know, protection. So I just let it go, man whatever it was. I know I know I went on a rant about something. The Emperor as I split the deck. It's like the downfall was part of the level up. It feels like falling from grace, falling off in some way. You could have felt disappointed in yourself for not seeing something, for feeling like you've that you didn't have yourself in some way. 
but it's like see how all these situations have helped you to not just master the highest parts of yourself but also the lowest parts of yourself it feels like this has been necessary for whatever your purpose is but the information learned through whatever this has whatever this situation has been it feels like somebody's put you down it feels like ego death but it also feels like Slightly like emotional abuse, like someone putting you down. It's like there's no separation. Like you can't delete the lower part of yourself. You can't delete certain versions of yourself, certain parts of your being, certain parts of your expression. Yeah, we can reprogram, rewire. But it's like your essence, you are you. I feel like there's sometimes a healing trap in terms of, in order to be healed, we need to appear a certain way, we need to be a certain way that maybe isn't us at our core, but is something that's an image that's pushed out, similar to how like um, fashion's pushed out in, certain magazines it's like someone wears something once and now this is a trend it feels like there's a lesson here of the wholeness of things the wholeness of yourself enjoying and appreciating all aspects of yourself forgiving yourself for the things that maybe you regret or maybe shifting your perspective so that that shifts out of regret into appreciation for the journey there's a shift in perspective here. It feels like clearing some kind of abundance block. Something you've been manifesting is coming in. Hierophant. The world. Six of Pentacles. How you see yourself stuck. It's, that, it's like in between two worlds. You can be seeing a lot of flamingos. Okay, interesting, interesting. You could be seeing yourself. This is something, my own personal thing coming through here, but this is coming through for me to share. So there's something here about, this is how kind of where I'm at right now, but something about like falling from grace, seeing yourself as stuck, seeing yourself as something can't ever be achieved, whether that's a state of being, whether that's something you're creating physically, whether that's something you're building, an idea that, that you're um, nurturing, that something isn't possible, that you're not good enough for something or that something's not for you or you can't fit for something. It's like you're not enough like this to be suited to that, whatever that is. It could be person, place or thing. It could be a, a, some kind of business. It could be a career. It could be a, a, a hobby, something you want to do. Spirit's trying to get your attention here. There's something you're here to do, something you're here to create, something you're here to express, to share, that it's like, in order for you to see what this thing is, it feels like everything else has been taken away so that you are so, can solely focus on this thing. It's like when there's nowhere else to look, when there's no nothing else to do, whether this is a business, something to do with your purpose, maybe this is in terms of partners, in terms of maybe... You were dating a lot of people and then everyone just kind of fizzled up, like fizzled out, things fizzled out. Um, it's like something's been removed. Many things may have been physically removed and you may have been wondering why this isn't some kind of punishment. Things have been clearing out. Things are changing. Things are clearing out. This is like new life energy, new world energy, the Empress, 11-11 on the clock. 
the best you can do is like charge ahead, full steam ahead, go after your dreams. Do what makes you happy. Do what sparks joy for you. Make sure you're doing it for you. Like, what is the intention? You ask to see the truth of things. You could be receiving some kind of... Yeah, it's like you, you, you may have asked, like, why are you stuck in some kind of way? Like, why isn't something working? Why isn't something progressing? Why... Are you having doubts? Why are you in some in a bad headspace around a certain person, around a certain place, or around a, when doing a certain thing? This has been revealed to you why something doesn't resonate, something doesn't sit right with you. It's like listen to the messages your body's sending you. Listen to your to that inner voice. There's something here about. You asked why something didn't feel right or why something wasn't going the way you thought it was meant to be going. Or it's like, feeling that like you're being breadcrumbed in some way in terms of told one thing, but something else is happening. It feels like there's been some harsh truths revealed to you. This could have come through um, in dream state. It feels like this could have been one of the hardest things you've had to release, to accept the truth of. It feels like a huge release in terms of emotionally, a huge breakdown that this is leading to a breakthrough. Six of Wands, Ten of Cups, Six of Wands, um, King of Cups, Ace of Cups, the outcome the moon it feels like a battle in many different ways in terms of emotionally having to have acceptance for what's leaving um and to be true to yourself to have self-respect to not go chasing things that don't want to stay it's like protect your energy. Yeah. And there's a message coming through here. It's like, don't give up. Don't give up. It could have been a long time. Yeah, rest, don't quit. It could have been a long time of chaos. really feeling like nothing's going to change and really becoming sure that nothing's going to change. It's like something's been the same too long. The energy's been the same too long. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. This is bigger than what you can conceive in terms of mentally, in terms of... There's been a reason for this. It feels like there's a role that you're about to step into. Yeah, the Hierophant. Like, of course there's a reason for this, yeah, yeah, there's a reason for everything that happens, blah, 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 that's it. but it's like, no, there's a reason for this. The Emperor. The world you're about to step into, the things that you're about to experience, the pe people that you're about to meet, the life that you're about to be living, there's something here and it feels like you could be having a family, meeting somebody and having a family or growing a family. There's something here about it's like pure purification, Cle clearing your environment, clearing your space. Only those that appreciate you, that support you, places that support you. Maybe that's in terms of does your environment support you?
tying up loose ends. It's like there's a big task ahead. There's a big mission to fulfill. This is going to take a lot of energy. There's a shift. Your body's adjusting. The energy's adjusting. Be kind to yourself. You may need to rest. There's a lot changing. DNA upgrading kind of energy. Something's, yeah, something is no longer going to exist in terms of, yeah, Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. In terms of a reality that you've physically known, it feels like you can feel this in your waters, you know this, that something's changing, that you're either going to be leaving a certain location, that people that you've known for a lifetime you're not going to see for a long time, or that you're moving away from something. It, it, it does mean a huge leap of faith, but trust that things are... working out in your favour. Feels like a lot of fear in terms of le letting go of what you've always known or having to accept that something you, the way you thought something was that it isn't. Maybe that's in terms of how certain people view you, feel about you, or it's like seeing people's true colours, the situations that are around you, it's like things being revealed. It feels like a lot of disappointment, a lot of letdown. It could have really broken you down. But there's something here about, it's like nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. It's shown you what you want. It's easier to move with less weight. Yeah, the world, the Hierophant. It's like something doesn't serve you anymore. I feel that you're having to drop down to meet it. Be grateful you have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness, a contented personal life. Balance, 14, temperance energy. Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time, there's no need to rush. There's a better choice, not seeing things clearly, running away from the truth. I've got the sun and the lovers. Number 19, plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations, gratitude for the blessing of life. The blessings of life. Strength, the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful you are. Empress on the back of the deck, life experience. Gentle, sensitive, kind and experienced, new relationship or emotional experience, invitations to social events, a compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. One, one, one. This feels like new energy coming in, new love, justice. Take time to review details carefully. You will win in the end. Fair and objective decision. Interesting, I thought the strength card was the lovers, but it wasn't, it was the strength card. But then we've got this new relationships come out afterwards. This definitely feels like something new. Someone that's going to meet you where you're at. It's like they're on your wavelength. 
to hire a friend. It feels like long time commitment. Clarify. Okay, there's something coming through about things don't have to be so cutthroat in terms of if you are pulling away from certain energies, having to move away from certain people, places or things, that you can communicate in a open-hearted manner. That you don't have to be frosty about things it's like you may be frosty about things because you're picking up on somebody else's energy or it's like you intuitively know that they're about to have a frosty reaction don't base your communication on how you know someone's going to react it's like stay in your own vibration stay in your own truth say what you need to say if you voice that you're doing something you're going to cut off from someone or that you're going to take some time out for yourself and someone reacts in a way that disrespects your boundaries it's like delete the delete the message or just let it go know that something's not about you don't make someone else's feelings the reason why you don't go after something right now because it's like you're being asked to really back yourself to two 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 to have courage to follow your first instincts Yeah, we've got the owl on the back of the deck, the sea, clairvoyance, seeing straight through the BS and the hummingbird. Ah, oh, number 44. Joy. Got the swan as well, grace on the back. First page it opened on was moose, self-esteem. Moose help me to honour the gifts I can give and recognise my worthiness as long as I live. Hummingbird, page 213. Because of their magical qualities, hummingbird feathers have been used for a millennium in the making of love charms. It is said that hummingbird conjures love as no other medicine does and that hummingbird feathers open the heart. Without an open and loving heart, you can never taste the nectar and pure bliss of life. To brother and sister hummingbird, life is a wonderland of delight, darting from one beautiful flower to another, tasting the essences and radiating the colours. If hummingbird is your personal medicine, you love life and its joys. Your presence brings joy to others. You join people together in relationships which bring out the best in them. You know instinctively where beauty abides and near or far, you journey to your ideal. You move comfortably with a beautiful environment and help others taste the succulent nectar of life. Hummingbird holds the bow of beauty which is delicately inlaid with gold and silver flowers, pearls and precious jewels. Hummingbird disdains ugliness or harshness and quickly flies away from discord or disharmony. If hummingbird has flown into your cards, get ready to laugh musically and enjoy creators many gifts. Drop your judgmental attitude and relax. Hummingbird will no doubt give you a flash of the spirit, darting here, there and everywhere. Get ready for a strange new burst of energy which may send your senses reeling. Hummingbird hears celestial music and is in harmony with it. Hummingbird may invite you to an art museum or a concert. Hummingbird energetically embraces the highest ascetics. Never be caught in front of Hummingbird for this is a fragile medicine which may have no understanding of worldly affairs. Beauty is the target and Hummingbird's mission is to spread joy or to be destroyed. Hummingbird quickly dies if caged, caught or imprisoned. Follow Sister Hummingbird and you will soon be filled with paroxysms of joy and experience a renewal of the magic of living. I feel like taking intentional action to open your heart it's the message that's been coming through for me recently. And it's interesting how it's like the hummingbird will just show up in, like it will just come through when I'm about to flip in a in place of anger or rage or like whatever, just whatever it is, something that's pissed me off. I can feel my energy stirring the other day when I was cooking. Um, 
and I was just kind of thinking about things that are happening on the planet. And as I was doing something, there was this um, recipe book in the cupboard that I hadn't even seen for it. It must be just be sitting there for years. And it had a little picture of the hummingbird on it. It was the hummingbird bakery. And then the same thing happened. I went out the other day and had a short fuse. And I stopped in the shop to get a drink and there was these little coconut water cartons and they had like this really beautiful picture of these two hummingbirds in like rainbow colours. And I said, yes, hello, little reminder. Just coming by to remind you. Just coming by to remind you to smile. <laughs> The emperor, use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. The hummingbird on the sun, oh, love. Let's check Alice, the Alice in Wonderland there. Yeah. I enjoy these cards, but there's, there's like the fairy cards. These are like they're quite a breezy energy to play with, but these are a little more, I don't know, a little more. serious energy, like Wednesday Adams kind of energy, and I pick this deck up, all right, who have we got, the king of hearts, number 19, meaning sometimes it is good to be loud and clear about what you want or what you believe in, but other times, a little softness, discretion, and a low voice prove to be more useful tools. You won't reach your goals by yelling and shouting. Better try to take unofficial roads and act behind the scenes. You will get more satisfying results. Key question, how could you use kindness to achieve your ends? Page number 33. That thing of if you want to make changes or to see changes around you or in the world to first change yourself, be the change that you want to see, to create from the inside out, the kind of going head first into situations when trying to force others to see your perspective or advising others to move a certain way, it's like be the way that you are promoting. So it's like, for whoever it is, if you're cutting out certain energies, it's like, react to them the way that you believe that. You should be treated, not the way that they're treating you, free, free, free. It's like you can't change someone by meeting them where they're at. That thing of two wrongs don't make a right. To be grounded in your own energy. And to create the changes you want to see instead of trying to get others to change. It's like lead the way. And that thing of how true leadership is that you don't force people to follow but be the inspiration that leads people to ask questions, to wanna know more, to wanna see how they can change or to, to see your way. It's like, when let people move when they're ready, but do what you can, start where you're at. 
let go of that which is causing you inner turmoil. Now is time for casting away emotions that are no longer serving you. I'm going to leave it there. If this did resonate, like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you guys soon. Sending so much love.